Hey there. Welcome back, everybody. We are back and ready to do another deep dive. This time we're going to be diving into Created DB, which uh, if you've been following along with kind of the trends in the database world and specifically databases that are meant to handle like huge volumes of data um, for AI and real-time analytics, Created DB is a name that you've probably heard. Yeah, you know, it's funny because databases are one of those things that are so fundamental to how we use technology today that we often take them for granted, right? Like, we just assume that all this data is being stored and managed somehow, but rarely do we stop and think about the technology that makes it all possible, right? So we're going to dive into that. Yeah, and I mean, I think for a lot of us who, you know, maybe aren't database experts or, or engineers who actually work with these things, it can be easy to kind of gloss over. But at the same time, when you actually do start to peel back the layers and and realize the scale and the complexity of what these systems are doing, it's it's pretty mind-blowing. So, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, decided to kind of dig into that today. And especially with CreativeDB, you know, I, I think one of the things that's really interesting is that it's, it's kind of this new breed of database, right? It's not your grandfather's relational database. Mm -hmm. It's built from the ground up to handle, like we said, these massive data sets and, and this constant influx of information that we're seeing in the age of AI. Well, and it's specifically the type of data, right? Because with the rise of the Internet of Things and AI and all these different sources of information, it's not just, you know, rows and columns of numbers anymore. We're talking about, you know, sensor data, time series data, geospatial data, even things like like vector embeddings for AI models. And CreativeDB is designed to handle all of that in one unified system. Yeah, so it's kind of like this uh, this Swiss Army knife, if you will, of databases where it's it's not just you know good at one thing it's meant to be able to handle this uh, this wide variety of data types and workloads which is which is really cool and and actually speaking of which um, I'm curious you know you mentioned earlier that created DB is designed for this kind of data intensive world but can we can we break that down a little bit like what are some of the specific challenges that created DB is trying to address Sure. And I think the best way to understand those challenges is to think about what happens when you try to use a traditional database in a scenario where you've got, you know, millions of devices all streaming data in real time. And, you know, you need to be able to analyze that data on the fly to make decisions or, or trigger actions. Traditional databases just weren't designed for that kind of workload, right? They start to buckle under the pressure. Yeah, they weren't meant for that fire hose of information. Exactly. And so CreativeDB is designed to solve those problems by offering things like horizontal scalability, which means you can just keep adding more servers to handle more data. And they also have this really cool feature called concurrent execution, which basically means that it can process a ton of queries simultaneously without slowing down. Right. So it's like having a whole team of of database servers all working together in perfect harmony. Yeah. Or, you know, at least that's what that's what it sounds like to me. It's a beautiful orchestra of data. But before we get too carried away with all the technical jargon, let's let's bring it back down to earth for a second. I mean, why should anyone actually care about CreativeDB? Like, what are the real world implications of all of this? Yeah, I think that's a really important question, right? Because at the end of the day, it's not about the technology itself. It's about what that technology allows us to do. Mm -hmm. And with CreativeDB, we're talking about things like you know, being able to analyze data from millions of sensors in real time to optimize uh, industrial processes or or power smart cities or even, you know, personalized experiences for for customers in, in ways that weren't possible before. And it's not just about big companies with massive data sets either. Oh. Because it's open source and because it's relatively easy to get started with, CreativeDB is also a really great option for startups and smaller companies that, you know, maybe don't have the resources to build out a complex data infrastructure. Okay, so so far we've, we've kind of laid the groundwork, right? We've talked about you know, what CreativeDB is, the challenges that it's trying to solve, and some of the potential benefits. But before we, we go any further, I think it would be helpful to take a step back and really define what CreativeDB is. I mean, we've thrown around a few terms, but for those who are maybe new to this, what exactly are we talking about when we say CreativeDB? Right. So at its core, CreativeDB is a distributed SQL database. And what that means is that it's designed to store and manage data across multiple servers, which allows it to scale horizontally. But here's the really cool part. It still uses SQL which is a very well-established and widely used query language, so developers don't need to learn a whole new language to work with it. Right, so it's kind of like the best of both worlds. You get the scalability and performance of a distributed database, but with the familiarity and ease of use 
of SQL. Exactly. And that's one of the things that makes CreditDB so appealing is that it lowers the barrier to entry for working with these kinds of, you know, massive data sets. And we're seeing that reflected in their user base, too. Hmm. I mean, they've got companies like ABB, which is a huge industrial automation company, using CreditDB to power their their analytics platform. They've got Rouch, the beverage company, using it to optimize their production processes. I mean, we're talking about real companies, real use cases, which I think is really exciting. Yeah, absolutely. And the really cool thing is that those are just a couple of examples. We're seeing CoiDBB being used in a wide range of industries from, you know, manufacturing and logistics to to finance and even, even gaming. It's really becoming this versatile tool that can be applied to all sorts of different problems. So it sounds like CoiDBB is really starting to make a name for itself and for good reason. But you know, I'm curious, with, with all this talk about, you know, real-time analytics and AI, where do you see CreativeDB fitting into that bigger picture? Like, how is it going to help shape the future of these technologies? Well, that's a great question, and I think it really boils down to this. As we generate more and more data, and as we rely more and more on AI to make sense of that data, we need databases that can keep up, and that's wow. where CreativeDB comes in. Yeah, it's, it's like the engine that's going to power the next generation of data-driven applications and insights. Exactly. And I think it's just the beginning. As AI continues to evolve and as we start to see even more creative and innovative use cases for real-time data, I think CreativeDB is really well positioned to be a major player in that space. Well, on that note, why don't we, uh, why don't we take a closer look at some of those use cases? Mm -hmm. Because I, I think one of the best ways to really understand the power of CreativeDB is to see how it's being used in the real world. Sounds like a plan. Let's dive in. All right, so real world use cases, I like it. Give me the rundown. Who's out there putting Creative DB through its paces? Okay, well, you know, we were just talking about ABB, right? Like these guys are heavy hitters in industrial automation, and they're using Creative DB for, well, they call it their industrial analytics platform. Basically, imagine trying to keep track of all the data coming from like a massive factory floor in real time, you know? Sensors, machines, production lines, the works. Yeah, that's like a fire hose of data, right? Mm -hmm. and, and not just any data, but mission critical stuff that keeps the whole operation running. Exactly. And they're not just like collecting it. They're actually analyzing it on the fly to optimize those processes, to predict when machines might need maintenance. They're even using it to make their factories more energy efficient, which is huge these days, right? Right. Talk about putting data to work. It's like not just about knowing what's happening, but actually using that knowledge to make things better, smarter, faster. Exactly. And that's, I think, where CreativeDB really shines. It's like it's built for those kinds of like high stakes, real time scenarios where every millisecond counts. So we've got ABB using it to like basically supercharge their factories. What else? Give me another example. OK, how about something completely different? Rouch, are you familiar with them? Rouch um, rings a bell. Wait, are they the, the beverage company? Ding, 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 we have a winner? Yeah, the folks behind Red Bull, among other drinks. And they're using Created DB to make sure that every can, every bottle of their product is like perfectly formulated. Wait, really? So <laughs> my like afternoon pick me up that's powered by Created DB, that's uh, kind of cool. It is. They're monitoring their whole production line, like every step of the way, analyzing everything from like ingredient ratios to temperature controls all in real time to make sure the quality stays consistent and, uh, you know, they minimize waste. Wow. That's like next level coverage optimization. Right. But it makes sense, though, right? Consistency is like key in that industry. You want every sip to taste exactly the same, no matter where in the world it's bottled. Exactly. And that kind of precision, that ability to track and analyze every little detail in real time, that's where CreativeDB really shines. It's like oh. having a, a microscope on your data, but a microscope that can handle like a tidal wave of information. OK, so we've got industrial automation, beverage production. Those are some pretty diverse use cases, yeah. and I know we've only scratched the surface. Oh, yeah, totally. We could do a whole other deep dive just on creating DB use cases. Mm -hmm. But I think the takeaway here is that it's not just for one specific industry or one type of application. It's really this versatile tool that can be adapted to all sorts of different problems. And it all comes back to this idea of real-time data, right? That's yeah. like the common thread here. Being able to capture, analyze, and act on data as it's being generated. That's incredibly powerful. And it's only going to become more important as we move forward. Well, absolutely. Especially with like the rise of AI and the Internet of Things. We're, we're talking about a future where everything is connected and generating data. And to make sense of it all, we need databases like Created DB that can handle the deluge. It's like we're building the infrastructure for a smarter, more data-driven world 
one database at a time and create a DBs like right there on the front lines. I like that. Building a smarter world one database at a time. That's a tagline right there. Right. But in all seriousness, I think one of the things that really impresses me about CreateDB is like its potential. You know, like oh. we're just starting to scratch the surface of what's possible with real time data yeah. and AI. And I feel like CreateDB is really well positioned to be like a major player in that space. Oh, for sure. And, and you know, one of the things I really appreciate about them is that they're not resting on their laurels. They're constantly innovating, adding new features, pushing the boundaries of what's possible. So it's going to be exciting to see where they go from here. Well, speaking of going further, I'm curious to hear more about those features. Like we've, we've kind of talked around it, but what is it about CreativeDB that makes it so well suited for this world of real-time data and AI? Yeah, that's a great question. And, you know, it's not just one thing. It's like a whole bunch of things that come together to create this really powerful platform. So you're ready to like really get into the weeds a little bit? Oh, absolutely. Bring on the technical details. I'm all ears. <laughs> okay, so technical details it is. Hit me with your best shot. What's under the hood of CreativeDB that makes it so special? All right, so remember how we were talking about horizontal scaling, like being able to just add more servers as your data grows? Yeah, like expanding your dinner table to fit all those unexpected guests. Exactly. Well, that's one of the key things that sets CreativeDB apart. It's built on this distributed architecture that lets you do that seamlessly. Traditional databases, they kind of hit a wall when you start throwing massive amounts of data at them. But CreativeDB, it just like, takes it in stride. So it's like built for the data deluge from the ground up. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. It's designed to handle like billions of rows of data spread across multiple nodes without breaking a sweat. And it does that while still maintaining like really impressive performance, which is another big deal, right? Because what good is all that data if you can't actually get to it quickly when you need it? Right, like having a library full of books, but no way to find the one you're looking for. Exactly. And that's where their query engine comes in. They've put a lot of work into optimizing it for speed and efficiency. So even when you're dealing with these huge, complex queries, CreativeDB can still deliver results in, like, near real time. Okay, that's impressive. But it's not just about speed, right? Because we've also been talking about all these different types of data, from sensor readings to geospatial information to, like, you know that can CreativeDB really handle all that? Oh, yeah. And this is another area where they really shine. They support a wide range of data types out of the box, so you don't have to jump through hoops to store and query different kinds of information. And they also have some really powerful features for working with time series data specifically, which is super important for a lot of real-time analytics use cases. Right, because so much of the data we're talking about is time-stamped, right? Yeah. Like sensor readings coming in every few seconds, financial transactions happening in milliseconds, that kind of thing. Exactly, and CreativeDB makes it easy to store query, and analyze that kind of data at scale. They have built-in functions for things like time-based aggregations, moving averages, all sorts of things that are super useful for understanding trends and patterns over time. Wow. It sounds like they've really thought of everything. Mm -hmm. So to kind of wrap things up here, for those listening who are maybe thinking about using CreativeDB for their own projects, mm -hmm. what would you say are the biggest takeaways, the things that really make it stand out from the crowd? I'd say, first and foremost, it's the scalability and performance. If you're dealing with large volumes of data, especially data that's coming in fast and furious, CreativeDB is built to handle it. Second, it's the versatility. It can handle a wide range of data types and workloads, so you're not limited to just one specific use case. And third, it's the ease of use. SQL is a widely known and understood language, so there's not a steep learning curve. I love it when a technology checks all those boxes. It sounds like CreativeDB is really pushing the boundaries of what's possible with databases. So where can folks go to learn more? Give us the rundown. Well, their website, createddb.com, is a great place to start. They've got tons of information there, including documentation, tutorials, even case studies. And they also have a really active community forum where you can connect with other users and get help with any questions you might have. Awesome. We'll make sure to include links to all of that in the show notes. And hey, if you're listening and you have any CreativeDB experiences of your own, whether it's questions, cool use cases, or even just general thoughts, We'd love to hear from you. Hit us up on social media. Send us an email. You know the drill. But for now, we're going to go ahead and wrap things up here. As always, thanks for joining us for another deep dive. It's been a blast exploring the world of CreativeDB with you. Until next time, keep on learning, keep on building, and keep on diving deep into the fascinating world of technology. And remember, the data's out there, folks. It's up to us to make sense of it all. <laughs>